You know what's an amazing story? Steven Stills, and I agree with you, that he is one of the most underrated guitar players. I find him unbelievable, even when he did his solo work. But um, Joni Mitchell wrote the song Woodstock. Indeed. She was upset, right, that she didn't get to go to Woodstock. Well, she was supposed to go. Right. You know, but she also, uh, Woodstock finished on the Sunday. She was supposed to do the Dick Cavett show on Monday. And it was a very important TV show for her, her biggest entry into TV world. Right, right yeah. But then when 20,000 people are coming, 50,000 people are coming, 100,000 people are coming, half a million people are coming, Elliot and Geffen didn't think she'd be able to get out of there to do the TV show. And they she were worried about go. that. Oh, of course. And that, so that killed kept her. her there. So that killed her, and she decided, that's it, I'm writing this song, Woodstock. But getting to my point about Stephen Stills, when he heard the song, yes. he said, He what? said, Joan, can I use that song? Well, of course, she said. Because but can I change it? And he turned it into the great rock and roll song that it is. He really did. Stephen Stills heard this song and knew how to arrange it to make it a hit. And Absolutely. that's genius, isn't it? It is. Even he took someone else's song. That's and right. And this is one of the best Crosby, Stills, and Nash songs of all time. I think. Oh, still holds up. For me, too. Oh, I love it. I love how what Joni does. How does Joni feel it. about it? Joni must have loved it. I think she did because, I mean, yeah. you know, it took her song, which was a, like a dark, purpley kind of song, and turned it into a balls-out rock and roll song.